everyone. Welcome to another communion service. I'm so excited about what we are about to hear um, from our pastors in just a minute. And, you know, just to get us really prepared for, um, you know, the service and for what God's going to do in our hearts in the next 15 minutes, I want to just read real quickly from uh, Romans 6, a um, few verses. I, just, I love the title of, of this chapter because it says this, Sin's, sin's power is broken. Uh, it goes like this, reading from verse 4, it says, For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we, yeah, you and me, also may live new lives. Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ, so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. I love that thought. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. Let's just really just go for it to the service today. You know, we are going to worship. And the song that we are going to sing is, yes, you've guessed it, No Longer Slaves. I pray this whole thing blesses you in Jesus' name. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies till all my fears. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God.
That's an incredible worship song, you know, to um, remember that we are a child of God. We've been singing about remembering that we are a child of God and what that means, that we are no longer a slave to fear. And, um, you know, and tonight as we um, come around to communion together, you know, I think God really wants us to remember what he said, is, what Jesus has set us free from and remember the good things, remember um, the, you know, what did you used to fear or what have you feared? For, for many, many years that would come upon you, Jesus has come to set you free and he wants you to remember that you are his child and to walk in that freedom. And, um, you know, for remembering or, or recalling to mind is a real powerful concept. And um, in 1 Corinthians eleven twenty four to 25, you know, um, Jesus instituted the Lord's Supper where really it's us remembering him that we, we remember because it's so powerful. He, he knows the power of remembrance. And it, it says, um, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, the bread, and said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after the supper, saying, This is a cup. This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. You know, and remembrance, um, recalling to mind, is um, something that we really need to have um, and do regularly. Um, remembering who God is. And what he has done, who Jesus is to be more pacific because he is God and he is our saviour. Who Jesus is, he's a son of God, he's a saviour, our healer, deliverer, all in the name of Jesus. And for us to remember what he was done and what was accomplished and um, on the cross and recall it to mind and, um, and who he, he continues to be. You know, that it's a continuing on forever and ever. Because, you know, when we remember all these things about Jesus, our Lord and our Saviour, um, we also, it reminds us of our purpose, um, that we are valuable. So easy, you know, to look down on ourselves. And if we look down on ourselves, we look down on other people because that's just the way it is. And, um, and... And, but, but, you know, we remember our DNA that, you know, that we are his children born again and the spirit we live within. We have a new spirit. We're not of the spirit of this age or the world or the, we, or, or the flesh. We are in the spirit, the Holy Spirit. And it's defining who we are and it clarifies our lives, dissolving confusion. And um, are you confused tonight? You know, maybe you really need to really recall and remember who Jesus is. Remember what he has done and who he continues to be. Because it um, clarifies our, it, our lives. Um, it dissolves false guilt, worry, etc. All in the process of remembering Christ and his finished work, which the, the cross has accomplished through him. Keep recalling. All I have done for you. Jesus is reminding us when he, he said, keep recalling it. I know you're going to forget it. I know you're going to get worried down. I know you're going to have sickness. I know you're going to have all these things that you will, you will have to stand against. But you know what? If you remember me and all I have done and recall it to mind, the power of my spirit, my word will break through for you. And... Um, and, you know, so remember what I have done. Don't recall, um, keep dwelling on your past without me. When, when your life was without me at the helm um, of your life, because there's no life there. Um, yesterday is gone, but you have today with me, says the Lord, and tomorrow here on earth, if I will. There is a question mark above tomorrow. 
but today is ours, to give thanks and to remember. And it's important as we remember we're, we're able to take um, hold of today. So let us remember as we come around and celebrate tonight all he has done, call to remembrance who Jesus is, what he did for you and I, and that he is the only saviour, our only saviour in all situations, but also the only saviour of, of this world. Great. Well, take the little emblem that you have that um, you think, well, that's a nice little emblem. It's not the emblem that counts, it's what it means and, and what it says to us. And we make this little emblem a, a physical thing that we can anchor our faith and say, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for the body of Jesus that was so awfully treated, so awfully damaged and ripped and torn and tortured and it was for us. And so we pray that those things that have spoken to us through what Terry said would come alive to us as we remember, as we eat, as we uh, think on those truths in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's eat together. And after the supper, Jesus said, we'll take the cup, do this in remembrance of me. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for your blood that was, came through Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for lending your son in such a dramatic and amazing way. We thank you, Jesus, for what you did. We recognize that the blood has washed our sin away in a spiritual sense, that it has had a, a huge impact upon our lives in a, a very legal, spiritual sense. We often don't feel it, but the reality is amazing. The difference in destination is incredible. And the impact upon our lives on a day-to-day -day basis is something that can continue and keep on and build and strengthen us. In so we drink together in remembrance of you. Let's drink. So, have a great week. God bless you. See you Sunday. <laughs>